All right, we got great to the game icon, Luis Hernandez. Let's take a look at him and let's try him out. We're looking at a card that has five star skill moves, but five star weak for high medium work rates, and he is 5'9. Current acceleration type is explosive 95 pace, 94 shooting, 81 passing, 93 dribbling, 80 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats, we finally have a usable Hernandez card in this game. And I'm definitely drawn to that dribbling since it is at 93. The fact that he is only 5'9. That should tell you that Hernandez should be really responsive on the ball. If this guy does not turn well in this game. If his Lessig dribbling is not shifty in this game, then my God, this game is truly terrible. So hopefully we at least get some decent gameplay just so we can get the full experience of his dribbling and just so we can see how good it can really be. But if we do get some terrible gameplay, then FC24 is truly garbage the recommend i kept yourself for this card is going to be that hunter just so you can max out his pace and his shooting you're going to max out both stats in his pace so his acceleration and his sprint speed both stats are not going to be at 99 now if he feels like that 99 pace after the upgrade hernandez can be really effective in this game and it can allow him to have an advantage over a lot of players in this game obviously with the hunter you are going to max out both his attack and positioning and his finishing and you are going to get a plus four to his shot power as well the upgrades in the combination of his finishing and his shot power should allow Hernandez to be really reliable when it does come to finishing. And with a plus two to his attacking positioning, it should allow his attacking AI to feel smart in this game as well. The reason why I like the Hunter over a Hawk on Hernandez is just so you can keep his acceleration type at explosive. The one specific play style plus that we will get into in a little bit and just overall gameplay. I love the explosive acceleration type in this game. So that's why I opt to go with the Hunter. If you go with the Hawk, he is going to be mostly explosive. But in my opinion, explosive is better than mostly explosive. And that's why I like the Hunter instead of the Hawk on this Hernandez card. And also because I honestly do find that his physical stats are still pretty good the way they are. 76 rank and 70 aggression. And since he is 5'9", even if you do upgrade his physical stats, it's not going to help him that much. Because shorter players in this game typically are weaker on the ball by default. So that's why I didn't want to waste the upgrade to his physical stats. And I really wanted to prioritize maxing out both his acceleration and his sprint speed and keeping his acceleration type at explosive. When we do dive into his play styles, he has eight play styles and three play style pluses in the power shot plus, the rapid plus, and the aerial plus. Once again, another card with the power shot plus. I do not know why EA is so obsessed with giving people the power shot plus in this game. I'm not a big fan of the mechanic. It's not as good as it was before in this game. As of right now, I honestly do think it's useless. But as always, we would just have to wait and see how effective they could be with Hernandez. He's got that rapid plus, which is honestly such a massive bonus to this card. It's going to allow Hernandez to be really, really explosive in this game. And that is also another reason why I wanted to keep his acceleration type at explosive. Because the combination of the acceleration type at explosive with the rapid plus playstyle is going to allow Hernandez to be as explosive as possible on the ball and is going to allow him to have a massive advantage over defenders in this game when it does come to his pace. Lastly, he does got the aerial plus. I'm not quite sure how effective this is going to be since he is only 5'9". I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to try and test it out. Maybe here and there, if there is a good opportunity to use his head, I might put a ball in the air to him. But I'm not going to look for it because he is only 5'9", and I honestly don't think this play cell plus is going to be as effective. It would have been a good combination with the power header as well, but unfortunately, since he is only 5'9", I'm not really going to focus too much on his heading ability. Chip shot, finesse shot, flare, first touch, other play styles that are definitely going to help out this card, especially the regular finesse shot play style, especially with the 5 star weak foot as well. That combination inside the box is going to allow Hernandez to be really unpredictable and a lot more versatile when it does come to finishing. As you guys probably guessed it, for this review, we will be trying out Luis Hernandez as our main striker in a 4-3-2-1. This is just so he can be the main focal point of our attack and just so I can get the best out of him in this review. So Hernandez has the potential to be a very good option in this game. So let's hop into the gameplay and let's see how good this card can really be. Hernandez, touch. Far post, love that, great finish. I just think any player with a five star weak foot in this game especially has such a big advantage. Let's use his pace here. Let's use his pace here. Don't mind this. Cut inside, far post, love that. For Pola, let's get it into Hernandez. Nice little turn there, far post, love that finish. Hernandez, nice little run in there. Finesse, I'll take that. Don't know why he's taking his keeper out that far, though. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, Hernandez. If it could be a threat outside the box, this could be a very, very underrated card, I'll tell you that. Nice, I'll take that. I'll take that. Well done, Hernandez. A little bit of luck there on the deflection, but I'll take it. Go. Well done. It's the keeper. That's lovely. Well done. Hernandez, nice little run there. Coming inside. Gets the angle. I'll take that. Purpose? Unlucky. Wow. I didn't think he was going to drag it that far left, if I'm honest. Nice. Chips him. That's lovely. Well done, Hernandez. Nice. Well done. He can dribble. He can finish. He's quick. Like what I'm seeing so far. For the price that he's currently at right now, this could be a massive bargain. No bullshit, guys. Nice. Once again, see, I'm telling you, he can shift left to right very quickly. And he can utilize his elastic dribbling effectively. Use that pace. Use that rapid. Chips the keeper once again. Fantastic. No, good save done, Ruma. Didn't quite angle him the way I wanted it to. That position there. Quick turn. Love that finish. A little bit off balance. I'm so shocked that you put that in, though. I wasn't facing directly towards the goal like how I wanted him to. Don't know why he wasn't. I made sure he was, but anyways. Nice. Nice. I mean, that finish was crazy, too, at that near pose. Top left corner. Go, Hernandez. Get to the outside again. That's fantastic. The way I just manipulated his center back there. He thought I was going to go back to the right. No, I came back outside to the left. Once again, if you had a player that is good at dribbling and feels really good on the ball, you can do shit like that. Go. Chips the keeper. Fantastic. Didn't think that chip shot play style would come in this handy. Nice. My God, what a finish. Again, not even really facing the goal. Nice. I have to make sure that he's good with the cheesy step over acceleration. Nice, Hernandez. For pose. Nine. Never mind. Near post. Hernandez. Nice. Hernandez. Fantastic. That finesse shot inside the box is so good with this card. Two perfect examples back to back goals where literally you can get the angle with either foot, finesse it into that back pose, and it's so effective. Nice. That's actually fantastic. Your post? Nice. Ooh. Ooh. I think I got a little bit fortunate there, but still. Nice. Nice. The bullet into that back post. Yes, Hernandez. I'm telling you, his finishing is incredible. No, ref, give me that pen. Oh my god, that's actually a penalty. That's hilarious. Hernandez, top right corner, not saving this, buddy. Well done. Nice. Go, Hernandez. Okay, give me that near post for free. Okay, I'll take that. Yes. All right. So after using Luis Hernandez, I can definitely say that he is going to be one of the most underrated icons in this game. And for the price of 140,000 coins, that is an absolute bargain for a card like this. There's so many good features about this card. So let's get right into it. The best thing about this card, in my opinion, has to be his finishing mainly because of the combination of the five star weak foot and with the finesse shot play style. It just allows him to be so consistent in this game. A lot more versatile, a lot more unpredictable, which allows Hernandez to have a big advantage in this game. Turn left, turn right, it does not matter. Right foot, left foot, you can bang it in with any foot, and it's really effective. And another cool thing about this card, too, is that he's actually a big threat outside the box as well. As you guys saw in the gameplay, I scored a finesse shot with his right foot and with his left foot outside the box into that back post. Another way that allows Hernandez to be really effective in this game. And in general, I'm really, really impressed and happy with the shooting. His pace felt fantastic as well. 
in space this guy is a massive threat so make sure you initiate that run in behind the back line with them and he can do a lot of damage combine that with his finishing and you can score a lot of goals that way and you can also utilize his pace to get by a lot of defenders in this game as well mainly because of the rapid plus playstyle, and i truly do believe that with the rapid plus playstyle, combine that with the explosive acceleration type it allows the rapid plus to be even more effective in this game and allow hernandez to get by so many defenders his dribbling was really really good as well he's really shifty on the ball now something i was actually really happy about as well you can utilize his left stick dribbling effectively inside the box onto his right foot onto his left foot once again it does not matter because of the five star weak foot and that's another way you could be really effective with this card combine his left stick dribbling with the finesse shot playstyle to create those spaces my god that is a very deadly combination in this game only knock i have on this card is that he is pretty weak on the ball i'm not gonna say he was the strongest guy whatsoever sometimes he did hold his own but sometimes he did get knocked on the ball very easily but that is to be expected out of a card that is only five foot nine so in general luis hernandez is absolutely fantastic in this game with the five star skill moves the five star weak foot really consistent shooting fantastic pace amazing dribbling really really good play styles as well an absolute bargain for his current price tag funny thing is he might even drop even more in price and when he does it's just gonna make him that much more of a bargain now is he a part of the upper echelon players in this game with the higher class like the mbappes and the other meta icons in this game i don't think so but i'm telling you guys this right now he is pretty close all the attributes to be meta in this game this card has it and if you guys are on the budget this is an absolute no-brainer you guys need to go out and pick up this hernandez card even if you guys do have a lot of coins even if you guys do have your set teams with your meta strikers and stuff like that i highly recommend you guys go out and give hernandez a try he's so much fun to play with and you guys will honestly be really impressed with them so in general if you guys are on a budget no brainer with hernandez or if you guys do have a lot a lot of coins you might as well try hernandez he's honestly such a fun time in this game so with that being said if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like that would be much appreciated subscribe for some more eafc content and for some more player reviews make sure to follow all the socials in the description and as always i'll see you guys in the next one